Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, so in the last video I posted, I, we got a new gift from uh, the gentleman there, Dan, and in that was the MPCC Mark III for Barbara's 8-inch F3.9 Newtonian. Very, very fast. Uh, my other coma corrector just wasn't working that good. So, so the question is, how do we get this at the proper spacing for your camera? In this case, uh, in this case, the Altair Astro, which has a back focus of 12.5 millimeters. That's the back focus starting right here on the right here on the edge. Okay. Now the bottle says you have to pull back 55 millimeters from when you make contact with the edge here. Okay, yeah. So from here to where, wherever this is, it's going to be 55 millimeters. So the math is simple. The back post is 12.5. You have to back up 55 millimeters. So it's just a matter of subtracting 55 minus your back focus. In my case, 12.5. It could be 17.5 if it's the tech version. And it could be 6.5 if you have an ASI 1600. But me, 12, 55, I need 42. So, what do we have? Well, I didn't have a 42, and I don't have the extra ones, but if we start from the edge here, and we go to the edge here, okay, as best I can, okay, exactly 40 millimeters. So, 40 plus the back focus, 12 is 52.5-ish, they advertise. So, we could probably say 53. Now, Botter says you need to reach 55. Technically, I would need two more. But this ring here looks to be, to me, to be about two millimeters thick. If I, I don't have a micrometer, it's downstairs. Two millimeters. So that works out to be exactly 55. So let's figure it out. Find 12.5 of your back focus of your camera and just come to here. So I'm going to go 12.5. There's 10, 11, 12, there's 12, and here's 50, here's 55 right here, which is where the glass is behind the ring. Perfect. That's it. This is how you calculate your distances. It's so important that you're not out more than two or one or two millimeters. Some people say you, just, you can't be out at all. Yes, you can. I've tried it. It actually works. And if you dither a lot, you'll end up cropping the outer edges of your Newtonian. But on other scopes, I don't know. But for this and the 8-inch F3.9, this is perfect. So in the next video, I'll show you footage results from using the Botter Coma Corrector and this on the 8-inch F4, 3.9. And we'll look, at the, we'll look at the edges. In Nina, you push a button, it says... CCD inspector it shows you all four well actually more than four shows you the top three rows the bottom three rows all the size and then the center So if these are very very sharp stars and the one on the edges are stretched then your coma corrector is not working properly in case It was the Explorer scientific Coma corrector if this is right or very close the star should be around all the way around the frame. Okay, that's it So thanks for watching and we'll see you when I can do a little bit of testing